Hello. I don't know if anyone's there, but hello. We're going to be doing something a little different today. <laughs> Hope you're not tired of Sonic, because there's more Sonic. <clears throat> More Sonic to be had by all. The dream device. The cream device. The game is way too loud device. The Eggman arm device. More animation. Animated cutscene. What happened? Oh, okay. It went into sleep mode. <laughs> Hello? She's got yarn. Okay. What is the settings? Yeah. Now it's really, really quiet. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. No, I wanna... How do I start over? Maybe, yeah, just this. How do I delete? You know what, I'll just go to file two. Right here. <laughs> now, to make my dreams come true. The head device. Puppeteering a child? This is a new low, even for you, Doctor. I will not tell you again. You will never control the reverie. Now release her! The egg reverie? Uh, you won't deny me, Guardian. No, oh, the Dreamweaver's power should have been neutralized. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Three hours later. Looks like your intel was spot on, Rouge. Thanks for finding this place so fast. My pleasure, Sonic. Just don't forget my reward for helping. Can you find a way to get them out of this thing, Tails? I'm trying, Amy. It seems Eggman was using cream and cheese as a conduit to interface with that relic. I as you do. trying to use them as a filter maybe as you do what even supposed to do one second knuckles according to the operational files it can control dreams as you do uh oh
Ah. Oh, oh. I've heard of falling asleep, but that was ridiculous. Oh. I am looking after your friends, but they will need your help. Oh yeah. Okay, so check, check, testing, volume, <clears throat> volume, checking, testing, volume, balance. I mean, this might be good right here. It seems like this game's uh, audio balancing isn't the best. <laughs> Because the intro cutscene was loud as hell. Anyway, yeah. Hope you're not. Hope you're not tired of Sonic because they just keep making them. I, I like this music though. So this is like an Apple Arcade exclusive that just came out. Bah, the Sonic Dream Team. It's fermented in the iPhone and like all the best Sonic games. It's Apple Arcade exclusive. Okay, so it still says A plus X, even if you change it to A plus A. Which is what I'm gonna try for a little bit. So hopefully everything looks and sounds alright, because this is kind of an unproven system here. There it is. There it is. Yeah, uh -huh. I got a little... <laughs> I got a little HDMI dongle coming out of my phone here. This is something that I have never done and quite possibly will never do again. Quarter pipes to get air, got it. So it's a little bit like uh, the boost games, you know, like Sonic Generations and, you know, like colors and all that. Kind of got a little bit of that thing going on. I ah, yes, follow the ring spline. Bouncy castle. I mean, it's simple enough. I, I played through the tutorial and a little tiny bit of level one just to see if it ran all right. And the answer is it does run all right. Oh, okay. Again, just loud as hell. Now kind of quiet. Is Reverie Haven, my home. Whoa! Well, nice to put a face to the voice. Likewise, I am REM, Dreamweaver and Guardian get it? of the Reverie. You get it? You Sonic need no introduction. Now I need your legendary heroism and skill to recover the Dream Orbs. Oh, this? These contain the power of the reverie. This sounds Tell like great delizzly. With enough of them, I can get us through the twisted dreamscapes Dr. Eggman has constructed. This way, we'll be able to restore each of your friends. Sonic! I knew you'd find us! Okay, Amelia's alright. I'm sorry. I'm not strong enough to free everyone yet. I've explained the situation to them, 
even though I cannot fully reach them yet. Tails seems to have grasped the situation especially well. From what REMs explained, each dreamscape is locked down like a secured bunker. Oh, we Mr. Exposition is here. We can't get out. Yes, I can use the power of the dream orbs and dream weaving to reunite you all. But I cannot help you wake up until I reconnect with the dream core. Well, Ari, anyone who wants to help out is all right in my book. Sonic, you just met her. You're getting awfully chummy. Like we need to hustle and grab those dream orbs. Ari? Yeah, he likes to hand out nicknames. It means he trusts you. <laughs> uh. Now that my ISP has ruined my life again. Let's... Uh... Get to see my... My wallpaper. Patrick on the little rocking horse. What is this? Oh, it's the statue. I don't think a statue should be able to move, but that's just me. Okay, well now that everything's ruined forever, let's try. So you got a mission, reach the dream portal. And we can play as Amy now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, now let's let's try to actually play video games. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. Oh, let's go down here. There's like a this thing. Hmm. Do I have to jump off of that? Well, it works. Does Amelia get any special abilities? As far as I can tell, no. She plays just like Sonic. My understanding is this game kind of has a, uh, Adventure 2 set up where every character like there are two character or sorry three character types You got like speed fly and strong and Amy is speed so she basically just plays like Sonic So yeah find some keys I appreciate that it's not Green Hill themed. Yeah, that is kind of nice. Something, <laughs> something different for once. And there's like floaty bounce houses everywhere. Oh, I fell off the wall. Is there anything on this side? Mm, rings, but not much else. <laughs> so sock em bopper zone. I mean, this zone is more fun than a pillow fight. <laughs> I know that somebody can probably like s sequence break this and <laughs> just get the key up there. And that person is me. <laughs> you know what blew my mind? Apparently they're soccer boppers. Yeah, that's what I always knew them as. But hang on, I want to see what's over here. Yeah, because I want to get the regional currency. Hmm. How do I get that? So, I'm not sure if there's like some input lag here. Or if this game just controls a little weird. Because I'm like, okay, push. Push. I mean, the jump seems responsive, but like, the camera's got like a weird delay to it, almost. Hey, I want that. Unfortunately, the rails in this game seem to be one way. Uh, I say grinding that one backwards, never, never freaking mind, I guess. 
Come on, I want the ring! There we go. Okay, get some of that juice. Return of the Eggman keys. Of all the Sonic mobile games, this definitely seems to be one of them. Yeah. I mean, so far it's not like, you know, super mind-blowing, but it's pretty neat for like a mobile game. It's like an actual video game. Yeah, give me the... Give me the regional coins. So, the thing that kind of throws me off is there's no stomp. Which usually the boost games have. But I don't know, I guess that's... I guess that's too complicated for the mobile phone gamers. They can't handle that. Yes. Did I get them? I think I did. Feels like it could, be, could have been a solid WiiWare game. True. I could see this on WiiWare. Minus... <laughs> minus the sequenced music, or the... Not sequenced, uh, the sampled music. You know, it's got the samples in it. The streamed music, that's the word I'm looking for. Hmm, I'm missing some of the regional coins. Hang on, let me let me check back here real quick. I just wanna I just wanna see. Hmm, no, I'm not seeing anything. Maybe uh, they're on the knuckles or, you know, tails paths. Possible. But I got the ring, so I get one of them orbs. Little orbulons. Music's good, though. Sonic game has good music, act surprised. Oh, no, 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 I'm investigating. Okay. I mean, after Superstars, you never know. I mean, Superstars has mostly good music. But then, but then like, what is this? What is all this about? Am I going to take another lap? What the hell? Oh wait, no, this is a, this is like the same level, but like a different mission, I think. Whoa, sick air. Yeah, it's like a different layout of the same level. So I, I do notice that the video output for me is like a little bit jpeg -y. Which is a little strange. But I don't I don't know what sort of technology this is using. Like I said, I just bought like a $15 iPhone Hello, dongle. Ellen. We have another part of the dream to explore. Is this enough to free everyone else? No. no. We still need no. to down the security Eggman applied to this dream. Ah uh, yes, dream security. Is heavily guarded. That aside, we must reach it first. Then let's get going already. All right. 
Oh, okay, yeah, so it's it's Act 1, and then you get different missions for the act, like in Sonic Adventure. Oh gosh, Amy, it's not that much fun. This shit is ice cold, Michelle. Fight for that white gold. This one for them hood girls. I'm sorry. Hmm. So this is kind of an open area. <laughs> this Sonic model has evil vibes. It reminds me of how geek critique Josh man person was telling me about like when <laughs> they first revealed the modern Sonic design for the first adventure game and there were people saying like oh no this looks evil this must be like some sort of evil Sonic. So yeah it's I, I mean, the level design's pretty neat. Like, I like having a, a boost-type game with slightly more open levels. Wait, there's another stuff up there. Can I get it? No, I... I don't know, there's a lot of stuff where I'm feeling like, maybe this... Yeah, I gotta come back with Knuckles and Rouge... rouge -kles. Oh, no, I want... I want that. It just it it just kind of sucks that this is stuck on phones because I mean I I can play it I'm playing it right now but you know I would like a, a Windows port or something. Yeah, I, I'm thinking I probably just shouldn't dwell too much on some of this. Just kind of try to finish the level. Get what get what I can, but... You know, you're probably gonna have to come back with the other guys. I wonder if I'll be able to spin that on a swimsuit for Mario. Because, yeah, there's definitely a bit of compression, like, around the letters, I'm noticing. So, if I had to guess, this adapter's probably leveraging, like, Apple's, like, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever the heck protocol they use streaming stuff. But it's just kind of like, like, it's acting as... What was that? But, uh... Like, it's acting as a, a sort of... Airplay receiver, I guess, maybe? That, that would be my best explanation for why it looks like this. Can I just go back here? Yes, I can. Literally no one will stop me. Hello, bingo bo. I can't believe this isn't a Pocket Adventures stream. I actually did stream Pocket Adventures like a little while ago. Like, I mean, probably like over a year or two. But I did stream it. And yeah, it does It, it does kind of look like a Fall Guys thing because it has that, you know, inflatable kids don't hurt themselves look to it. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure what... I'm not sure what that noise is. I don't know if you guys hear that. You know it. There it is. Oh, uh, there it is. There what is. Yeah. 
crystals. Kind of sucks this is an Apple Arcade exclusive. Yeah, I was just saying that. It'd be nice to have a uh, Windows port. Yo, Ari, what exactly is the reverie supposed to, you know, do? It turns the dreams of the pure hearted into reality. So someone could dream up anything and you'd be able to make it happen in the real world? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, like, what is that? Up. She did say pure. Do y'all hear that? Huh? What does that even mean? I am oh. mandated by my creators to only grant the reverie's powers to those I deem to be of noble and virtuous intentions. It was this rule that led the doctor to kidnap Cream. He thought that he could trick me if he filtered his evil dreams through an innocent mind. I was not decisive enough in repelling him. In the end, the best I could do was trap him in his own dreamscape. It's all good, R.E.M. We'll get your powers back and we'll stop him. We always do. So will she turn evil by the end of the game? Do we have a uh, Disney twist villain here? What is this game? More like a collect-a-thon. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that sound is. Uh... Sort of, not really. Ooh, there's a path over here. here. Amy has had too many naughty thoughts. She cannot have her wishes granted. The Star Road will not bow to her. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now you gotta get the Eggman key. Not the Eggman key. That's a Pokemon. Okay, there's there's a ring over there. Okay. Okay, game game's lagging a little bit. Okay, yeah, I might want to turn I might want to turn the resolution down just a little bit or the graphics quality. Oh, do I have to stand on the spot. How old is your eye thing? I believe it's an iPhone 12. Because, yeah, this, this, this level's kind of... Kind of getting it a little bit. Maybe this will be better. Yeah, like I said, still have no idea what that sound is. The D do D. Is that coming from my computer? Might it might be It might be my like file syncing program. 
trying to sync files. So maybe that'll fix it. I'm not brain active enough. Nah, trust me, I feel like if it was coming through on stream, you would know. It wasn't exactly, like, subtle. But I, I think it was like my file sync program throwing up an error message over and over. Dun dun da da! Yeah, you kind of just do missions, you know? Except, unlike Adventure 2, the missions are mandatory. Or at least some of them are, like... Like Mario 64. Oh, did the internet die again? Is the bitrate spicy? Well, it's in the orange, but... Wait, no, I think, I think it's back. I think it's back. <laughs> Didn't generations make missions mandatory? Uh, you had to play one per, like, every three levels, if I recall right. But yeah, my internet man... My internet man will be receiving a call about this. No, it, it might have been, like, one per level. But yeah, you just, you gotta go fast. We got this. We got it in the bag. We have a bag. But yeah, I will say that this... This sort of thing is one reason why I'm still probably never going to be a huge fan of video game streaming because like the little JPEG artifacts are very distracting for me. Like I said, it's, it's less noticeable for you guys because it's shrunk down anyway. Like the resolution of the game on your end is probably hover hovering somewhere around 480p if I had to guess. Okay, so we got a bounce. This is the security tale spoke of. We may only reach the next dreamscape through here. You know, I gotta admit, I'm kind of curious what he's been cooking up. Of course you'd be excited. You two chill here. I'll be right back. Uh, why do you get to have all the fun? Where'd the, where'd the audio go? Oh, okay. The inflatable crab! Seaside dream, giant enemy crab. Why am I not sur- Wait, is that a mustache? Based on real Japanese battles. Okay, claw must be deflated.
Ow. I wonder if it's mandatory to use a controller since this is on an Apple service. Uh, no, you can play on the touchscreen. I just really didn't want to do that. so you can suffer? Indeed. We can go to Lava Festival. Why is he so loud? You're through. And not just that. Oh, thank you, Miss R.E.M. And thank you two for all your hard work. I, I don't. I don't like the, her delivery. I'm sorry. And cheeses too. Yeah, hanging in there, partner. You know me. I've been trying to get a handle on Eggman's systems while you've been gathering dream orbs. I've determined Eggman can't use the Reverie's full potential without REM's authorization. It's only a matter of time before he tries to force her to cooperate. Then we have to look out for Miss REM and keep her safe. Don't you worry. We'll all look out for each other. Now, let's hurry to the next dreamscape. Yeah, this game, this game has some audio bouncing issues. Why, why does nobody understand audio balancing anymore? Anyway, we unlock the yellow people. The dream pack. Oh, oh, we can only play as the yellow people. Okay, Tails can boost, and he can also fly a little bit. Yeah, I had uh, an iPhone, like, back when iPhones were just sort of becoming a thing. I mean, not, like, right when, but, you know, earlier than some. And I remember playing, like, Earthworm Jim on one of them. Yeah. And you can go up here. Oh, hey, it's the crate. Does Cream play like a 3D version of her SA2 version? I don't think so, but I haven't played as her yet. We'll, we'll play as cream in a second. Uh -oh. Give me that. Give me these two. Uh. Okay, so you kind of become really slow when you fly. Oh, no, 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 wait, no, no, I want to, I want to go back. No, 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 I want the ring. Give me the ring. No, no, I want to die. I want to die. I want the ring. There we go. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so... Okay, Tails does have the homing attack. He just doesn't have the air dash. Oh, woe is me. Does not have the air dash. Oh, that is a sonic path. Also does not have the light speed dash. Cannot move along the ring spline. Yes, give, give. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Anything in here? Nope. Oh, regional coin. Wait, was that a, was that a regional coin? No, that was Sonic's head. Easy mistake to make. What's in here? Oh, it's a ring. I mean, a spa, a spa ring. Meet George Jetson. Is there any 2D? I haven't seen any so far. I don't know why you put Kappas after that. That's just kind of a genuine question. But yeah, she kind of just plays like Tails does, yeah. Though Cheese is at least there. He hasn't been left out. The thing that kind of stinks is you can't boost in the air. Which, I mean, granted, is how Frontiers handled it for a while, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. So, yeah, the, the gauge pretty much just indicates how long you can go up. It, it turns into a glide after you do that, after you use it up. I was gonna ask what they make in this factory, but th then I remember this isn't even a real factory. This factory does not exist. Okay, collect the thon stage. This is a collect the thon. I mean, not really that much of one because you're just collecting six things, but. I mean, it's, a, it's something. You can't be picky in this economy, man. Collectibles just, they don't make collectibles like they used to, man. Times are tough. We gotta, we gotta dial things back. I don't know why I fell down. Come on, come on. Go up. And you can you can go in here every time. Oh. Oh, there's one over here. Okay, one more. 
Come on, come on, tails. You can just kind of like mash it and do that. being pumped through the factory pipes it's everywhere this isn't a real factory the liquid is imagination oh okay it's imagination the darker fluid is dr eggman's magioni fueling his minions it's oh yes yeah, robot nightmare fuel? Why would it's literally nightmare fuel because he's a jerk <laughs> and he's a yeah freak. Uh, yeah that about sums it up he's a, he's the bad guy good calling duh it's like imagination, but they took a letter away. Okay, now you can play a snock again. You just you had to take a little while to appreciate the new character. What do you think of Mario 64 Star Roads Musical Madness? Oh, that level was a pain in my ass. <laughs> you know it. Not the bees! There's a pain in many people's asses, yes. I'll probably stream that hack at some point. Though, honestly, part of me just wanted to see if he would end up doing anything with the DS version. But we haven't, we haven't heard anything in a while, I don't think. So, I don't know. Not looking good, but also... Sometimes, sometimes making little fan game hack games is just like that. <laughs> like, a, I know that there are some people who have thought that Ancient Keys DX was dead because I went a couple months without posting anything. And it's just like, no, I, I just, I just haven't done anything interesting with the game. <laughs> it's like, I, I reformatted the DS list algorithm. Does, does that help you any? Does that make you excited? I mean, if it does, then good on you. I appreciate that, but... I don't think most people would be able to make something out of that. Yes, yes, I, I reprogrammed how momentum is calculated when underwater. You can get some pretty sick air in this game, though. Oh, wait, what's up there? I want to go up there. No, what's... Oh, wait, I think there's fans or something. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, there we go. We'll have an, a, a disassembly source port of 64DS with native analog controls and people who can finally play the game and realize Wario sucks. We actually already have a hack with analog controls. You can even play it on the original 3DS. And, uh, I was thinking about doing that at some point, but, you know, you, you hear that a lot with me. Is, you know, oh, I, was, I was thinking about doing that or I want to do that at some point. And it's like, God, I got so many ideas. But one day, sadly, I will die. Oh, wow, look at that momentum. And you can get some rings over here. I don't know if there's any reason to do that, but you can do it. Whoa! No, land on the rail. Land on the rail. Oh, I thought it was gonna eject me, but no. I was magnetized. Uh, yeah, it's it's a more native way. If if I recall right, you have a patch you can use, or you can use a game. I I almost called it a game genie code, but it's like I don't know. I guess it's just a Luma code, Luma 3ds.
But yeah, 3D Land is weird because it it's analog, but not like fully analog. Like, if I recall right, you can like lightly push it. No, never mind. There's a run button. So no, it's not analog at all. <laughs> I was misremembering. I might be thinking of Crash 3, oddly enough. One of those, like, Crash Bandicoot games. It's kind of weird, though, to make Mario m only move in eight directions. I wonder why they did that. To make it more 2D-like, perhaps? Who knows? Ooh, oh. oh, wait, I'm running out of time. I just realized I wasn't I wasn't paying attention to the objective. Cuz I was too busy thinking about Mario. In fairness, the 3D land its level design is designed to not be analog. That is true. Whereas the thing about 64 DS is that you're getting a game that had analog and then taking it out of it. And honestly, the original DS really just should have had a circle pad. They tried. They they really tried to make it control well. And I, I give them respect for that, but it's just always... It's always going to be a downgrade if you don't have analog. And no, Nintendo, I'm not using the... The freaking DS nub thumb thing. Nobody's using that. Stop trying to make the DS nub happen. Well, what was that? Ow! Oh! So, interestingly, interestingly, it doesn't like restart you at a checkpoint. It kind of just like, well, there's a checkpoint, but. What I mean is the mission doesn't restart, which I think is simply fascinating. But I mean, I guess that, you know, that's good because it means if I can still make it like I can here, then, you know, I still want to give it a try. Oh, but I need to focus. Oh yeah, cool, cool boost, Amy. Thank you. I wonder why they wouldn't make a GBA accessory that replicates the circle pad instead of the thumbstick. I mean, I guess they could have done that, like, have... Like, just sort of have it, you know, like a little clip-on thing. They had the freaking Circle Pad Pro for the 3DS. So, I mean, it's not like there's no precedent. I mean, that happened afterwards, so I guess there was no precedent, but... I mean, it's kind of fascinating, though, that the GBA slot could be used for add-ons. How does that work? Because, you know, they made, like, the Rumble Pack. I think there was, like, a little... There was an Arkanoid game that had a little... Like, a little thing you could twist around. Or something like that. It was some game like that. Uh, there was like the freaking RAM expansion for the internet browser. Like, how does that work? How do you get that out of a Game Boy Advance slot? I need answers. Uh, Sonic has become one with the dream sludge. You know, a dream meaning the thing that, you know, when you're asleep, not... Not the Minecraft YouTuber dream. We don't want to talk about his sludge. I mean, some people do.
Another thing that's funny is how many consoles have, like, expansion ports. Expansion ports that, you know, just never get used for anything. Like, the NES had one, I'm pretty sure the SNES has one, the Nintendo 64. I mean, the Nintendo 64 did get used for something. Barely. Which was the disk drive. That, you know, did not release in America and only barely released in Japan. The GameCube also had one that never got used. It, it had, like... It had three expansion ports, though at least one of them was used for the broadband adapter. Though, I mean, that was barely used in itself. Because there's like, what, maybe f four GameCube games that use that thing? And like, I, like I'm like i always saying, it, it sucks because the GameCube had a handle that led to excellent portability. Perfect for LAN parties, but there's nothing to- there's no LAN games to play. So what is that nonsense, Nintendo? Where's your handle now? The DSi was originally gonna have two games inside. Yeah, I feel like I remember that. Like, they wanted to have two cartridge slots. Or at least that was an idea that they tossed around. <laughs> the GameCube handle made it the perfect bludgeoning weapon. Well, Zero Janitor, if I ever... If I'm ever victim to a home invasion, I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> oh, camera pointed up. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. tail, tails. Also, is this the first game that like? Someone other than, like, Sonic, Blaze, Sh or Shadow has been able to boost. I honestly don't remember. Oh wait, there's- there's regional currency up there. Oh, we're in the sludge area. Wasn't that possible in Frontiers DLC? Oh yeah, you're right. You're right, they could do that. So never mind, it's the second. Cha-ching! Makes you think about like the sonic cash register noise that some like gas stations use. Oh, oh, regional currency. All right. Yeah, getting a little, getting a little bit laggy in the big old purple area. My iPhone isn't super old, but it's not super new either. Kind of surprised we never got a re-release of the Advanced Trilogy, Pocket Adventure, or the Rush. Well, from what I've heard, Advanced might be a copyright issue. Or Advance, I don't know why I said. I guess because you said it. But the original Advance was published by THQ in America, and apparently they still retain those rights. I could be wrong about that. So that might be why we haven't seen one of those. Anyway, collect the shards. Make like Spioro. Sp 
Spioro the dragon. Which I, I really have to do a playthrough of that at some point soon. When I was gauging interest on some new game ideas, Spyro ranked rather high. Not as high as Kirby's Dreamland 2, though. Which I, I realize I still have not done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. Mario and Sonic have got me by the balls. <laughs> they just, they won't stop making Mario games. Help! Send help! Miyamoto has me hostage in his basement. As far as I'm aware, Jin's 3DS doesn't have any necessary touch controls. Yeah, it I feel like out of any of them it would it would be pretty easy to, you know, convert that one for modern systems. I mean in terms of design, maybe not code. Maybe they could make like a Sonic Generation Super Pack. Where it's both versions of the game in one. But I don't know. That might that might be too good a value. It's like, alright, you guys get two versions of Sonic Generations, but what what's in it for us, huh? Oh, okay, that's <laughs> that's a fun jump you gotta do right there. Yeah. But I will say that, you know, I am that was close. I am equipped to stream uh oh, I missed one. I absolutely missed one. I'm going to have to restart that. I am equipped to stream 3DS games, so after I've done Generations HD in the year, you know, 2039, uh, you know, I can probably do Generations 3DS. Why not? How would they even do both versions when the physics for both hedgehogs are different? Well, I mean, I mean, like, they're, you know, it's a menu, like, you choose, like, okay, you want to play Generations HD or Generations 3DS, and you choose, and then it boots up that one. I mean, it would be awesome if they combined them into one game, but they'd never do that. <laughs> so, I, I mean, just sort of like a Generations collection. Because, yeah, there for a while there, there were, like, a lot of like handheld versions of major Sonic titles coming out. Oh, yeah. They don't really do that anymore. Not since the Switch became a thing. But you got to play like weird alternate universe versions of these games. Sometimes not always for the better. But yeah, you had like, uh, you had Sonic 1, Sonic 2, you know, there was, uh, you know, the PS2 version of Unleashed, PS2 Wii, uh, Sonic Colors got a DS version, uh, Sonic Generations got a 3DS version, so did Lost World. That might have been the last one. And yeah, there was also the mobile phone version of Unleash that, that they made for, you know, whatever reason. I mean, I guess it's their prerogative if they want to make a... If they want to make a mobile phone version of Sonic Unleashed, more power to them, I guess.
I still think Colors DS is better than Colors Wii. Well, I can't say I agree with you on that one, but it's pretty neat anyway. It's pretty fun. Worth, you know, checking out, worth your time. Oh, okay, whatever that was. Go into the star hole. Got it. Oh, the frames. Oh, God. Okay, so we're, we're getting there. Reach the dream portal. Oh, did I already do that one? I think I already did that one. So I got a free... Nuck. I'm still impressed with the fact that Dimps made so many games in a very short time span. I mean, I guess in fairness, this was also a time where... Games were a bit easier to make. Like, you know, making something for the DS... Is gonna be like a lot simpler resource-wise than something like, you know, Sonic Forces or the, you know, to make it something on the Super Switch 2000 machine. But also, I, I feel like they were probably crunched to hell, but, you know, I got... I can't prove that. Okay, get go. Go. Ooh. Oh, no! No, no! I messed that up somehow. Okay, there we go. Uh. Reach the dream portal in two minutes. Five minutes, everybody. Five minutes. Oh, wait. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Where, where am I going? Where am I going? Do I need to be Tails? Oh, am I going to that? I'm going to that up there, okay. I'm going in this hole. You gotta pay the troll toll to get into this boy's hole. Blame Frank Reynolds for that one, not me. Oh crap, I wanted to wanted to ride that. Probably could have done something with that guy. But whatever. We didn't and we just gotta live with that. Huh. 
But yeah, this game's- this game's kind of like somewhere- I'd say this game's somewhere in between, uh, you know, Sonic Colors and Sonic Adventure 2. It, it's- it's like somewhere- there's like a Venn diagram intersection. something called the Guardian Hunter. No prizes for guessing what that's supposed to do. So, how do we stop it? The good news is that its launch controls are just past the barrier. The bad news is that's where the security nightmares are waiting. How did you bring your computer so, into the dream? To fight our way to the off switch on the Guardian Hunter. I'll do it. I'll do my part. Oh! <laughs> I need time to regain my strength. I'm sorry. Relax, Cream's got this. She's growing up on us fast, and she's got cheese with her. Yeah. I, just I mean, they brought their clothes to too. Sonic didn't. Well, okay, he brought his shoes, I guess. See, if you are male, if you are a man hedgehog, then you can you can just have your hedgehog <laughs> dick flopping around wherever you want. But if you're a woman, you have to put on clothes. You've outlived your usefulness, you brat. Foreman, report to the Foreman Spike at once. Attack on sight. Oh my God! It's Top Man from Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Uh, he's having a little trouble. But there's only three of them. Oh, okay. So they're making an electro field. Ow. Yeah, I'm not sure these controls are made for a boss like this. Oh yeah, drum and bass. We My neighbors are always listening to really loud drum and bass. Whether they like it or not. Ah, uh, there he is. Fashionably late. You want me the toys from Tattletale? You you mean the Tattletale? Or no, it's like the the other thing. Maybe was there another thing? Or did I just did I just invent that? <laughs> the four man. Oh, uh oh. Zoinks! Scoob. There's a mama and a bunch of smaller, less kill you -y ones. So there wasn't like uh, a weeble, a, like an inflatable doll thing. What am I thinking of? I don't know. I think, I think this game is like destroying my brain. I, I, I think I'm dying. I think I might be having a stroke. Ow! 
Ow! But as long as I have rings, I'm invincible! Yes, please die. You're too late! I might not have had the time to gift wrap it, but I do hope the Guardian likes what I've built for. Her. <laughs> he is very confused. He doesn't, he don't know what's going on. How did he trick you? You were very brave. I could ask There was no trick. Besides, thanks to your He was just like <laughs> Here is a robot! And there was. Nice work back there, kid. Way to show up these amateurs. Ooh. Hey, Knuckles, Miss Rouge, I'm so happy you're free. Yep. Now we can help protect REM too. It's what guardians do, right? Handsome one, isn't he? <laughs> sure, but he's such a brute. No class uh, or tactic uh, at all. Uh, can we get back to stopping Eggman's plants already? Sounds good to me. Knuckles drowning in pussy. All right. Okay. All right. So we'll play his old Lego shoes for a bit. Oh, that's a good grind pose. Can't see. Oh, okay. Now this is some kind of glide right here. Will this be better than Frontier's Glide? Caterpillar! Will this be better? What's up, Doc? Will this be better than the Frontier's Glide? Who knows? But you can only climb specific walls. My god, why are they doing this to my boy? <laughs> Knuckles, what have they done to you, mate? How do I... How do I get up on there? I, I want the ring! Come on! Oh wait, there's a there's a dude that I can homing attack. Of course. Alright. But there was like there was like some regional currency around here. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, it's right there. We. Oh no, 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 Knuckles, Knuckles, no! Did I, did I get it all? No, I didn't. Okay. Wait, what was he doing with his, what was he doing with his arms there? Uh-oh. Paschetti-o. 
Ow. Enter water jets to reach new areas. Wow, she wasn't kidding. That water jet can reach new areas. Wait, wait. I see that. You can't hide that from me. Yeah. Who <laughs> built the Minecraft temple with purple flirt? Ah, uh, well, Jimmy. Uh, hey, hey, Jimbo. Oh, oh. Okay, no. This is not a climb wall. This is an anti-gravity wall. Do not get confused. This is a climb wall. Okay, collect the dream orb. The drawb, if you will. Rouge just hanging out with the good guys, I guess. I mean, she's not a bad guy, but you know. The not dark guys. I have no idea how long this game is, for the record. It kind of feels like I'm about halfway through it. Like, I saw six zones. Please don't make me die. I don't want to cry. Honestly, this, this kind of feels like a fan game. And I mean that both as a compliment and an insult. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, Knuckles cannot glide as far as we'd maybe enjoy. See, you know, now, now you get the whole, the whole gambit. The whole camaraderie, the whole menagerie. Why is the music so ominous? Am I freeing the Elder God? Oh wait, hang on. We're turning on the synth. We are turning on the synth.
I mean, this is a cool zone, though. Like the hedge maze anti-gravity thing. That's pretty neat. Oh, okay, you you can decouple yourself from the gravity. No. Why were they going down so slow? Arr. Ow. No, hang on, I can do this. Ow. Hmm. My attempts to sequence break have not been as successful as I would have liked. Well, I fell into the flurp. And that's never good. Where does this want me to go? I fell in the flurp again. Wait. Why, but Oh, can I just... I can just switch? Oh, I can just switch. I am Tails now. Oh, okay, there's just... Those actually extend up forever, it turns out. Okay, you can just kind of... <laughs> you can kind of go up there. You can... Like, have some fun right in this corner here. What does this want from me? Is it up there? Probably. The arrow indicators are maybe not the most accurate thing in the world. Oh no, here's what here's what you do, right? You sw oh, it says right there. It says swick swick to Sonic to do the thing. There it is. There it is. Okay, reach Dream Portal in under 50 seconds. You know it. Yes. All right, let's go. Okay, that was a little concerning, but you know what? It'll be okay. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh wait, I can switch. I can still switch, I think. Oh, I did it. I got not hit. I have avoided to get hit. A winner is me. I'm I'm trying to imagine playing this on a touch screen. And it sounds a little awful. I won't lie to you. Guess who's back? Shady? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the greed. The greed. No, no. That, that wasn't me. That, that was somebody else. What's the worst level from Generations HD aside from Planet Wisp? It kills me how you do that, because it's like... The answer is obviously Planet Wisp. But then you're like, no, you can't say Planet Wisp, say something else. I'm fine. I'm fine. Right. Oh! The frames. There's never been any frames. Frames are just a myth. What's your favorite Star Tropics game aside from Star Tropics 1? <laughs> hmm, you know, that's a tough one. Almost as tough as displaying a frame in this video game. I don't know what I was thinking. I was I was going to fly into that wall and die. But I'm just saying, if this was on Windows, it would be running so much better right now. I'm just saying. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, you gotta press the L. You gotta take the L. All right. Only Tails and Cream can fly. That's not true. I can fly. I hope it'll come to other platforms. I'm hopeful it'll come to other platforms eventually. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Honestly, I'm not entirely convinced, but I could be wrong. I'm getting redial vibes from this song. You get redial vibes from everything. Also, it may or may not be radial. I, I heard it claimed that the song from Bomberman Hero is actually called Radial. But uh, I don't know for sure. So, when they said... When they said... You know, we're making... We're making it, like, mission-based. It's gonna be like Tony Hawk. What they really meant was... We're gonna make you play through the missions to pad out the game. It sounds like it did ruin his plan. Good, use that. Do you know what that is, R.E.M.? Of course. Of the course. The protocol is a safeguard my creators installed to shut down the reverie. Oh, your creators, huh? Who's who's that? When I get my powers, who, who's that? I have to trigger it to ensure. Also, what does that mean? Are you an are you an AI? Once complete, the are you sage? Will back down and be completely inaccessible. For how long? Forever. As you perceive time, a millennium. A thousand years? But what happens to you? I wait. A guardian must be prepared to sacrifice everything for their cause. Tails, is there anything you can do? Well, I I'm working on it, Crane. How the reverie works, but it's difficult to say. What's the worst zone from Mania? My guess is Oil Ocean. Yeah, probably Oil Ocean. Let's do it to it. I respect them for trying to make Oil Ocean good, but you know they made it. They made it better. If it was like Tony Hawk, I think it'd be like all goals at once and a time limit to do as many as you can in one run. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. But yeah, it might be it might be just a little padded. 
Honestly, though, I'm, I'm gonna be 100% real with you. And, like, don't get mad at me for saying this. I don't think anyone will. But... This is cool, but it's not a game I think I would want to play for, like, six parts. You know what I mean? I, I think after maybe, like, two, three sessions, I'm... I think I'm good. Oh, or... Okay, cool. How am I supposed to do this? Okay, especially when it keeps knocking me off the wall. Oh wait, this is- Oh wait, this is a knuckles wall, isn't it? Yeah, this is a knuckle wall. You're supposed to- you're supposed to get knuckle on it. You gotta knuckle down. Face the music. Except I can't figure out where the music is coming from, so... It's kind of hard to face it. I felt like you could remake some of these stages in Lost World. Yeah, this, this game does have a very Lost Worldian vibe to it. Huh? What? What happened? What happened? So, fun fact, I have never played the 3DS version of Lost World. I played Generations 3DS, but I just- I just never bothered getting Lost World. And I- I've heard some things about it, so... One day I will try it, and that- that will be interesting. But, let me just say... Let me just say that if I ever stream it, then it will be like a blind playthrough. Mostly. But like I said, I, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Because I still have some stuff in Adventure 2 to do. And then I got Advance. And then I got Heroes. And then I got Shadow. And then I got Rush. And then I got 06. And then I got Unleashed. And then I got the other version of Unleashed. You know, so... <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. With Lost World. I've, I've been playing the new Sonic games as they've been coming out, but... I'm probably not gonna just skip around the old games. As far as I'm aware on Lost World 3DS, every z the first zone is better than every level in the HD version. I I've heard people say it starts off really strong, and then it falls off a cliff and never recovers. <laughs> Which is kind of a shame. Oh yeah, this is Lost World right here. This is... This is Lost World as fuff. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? The special stages are a complete mess if you try to stream them. Honestly, I, I don't know if I could do... Oh, that was, that was fun. Did you see that? Momentum glitch. Speedrunners, take note. Okay, I, I'm guessing I want to become the fly. You know that that old horror movie. I want to. I want to do that. I guess. Yeah, just just turn me into a fly. It'll be it'll be fine. I can handle it. I've been through worse. I think that movie was specifically about not wanting to do that. Yeah, but I'm built different. He just didn't have my... fortitude.
honestly, the thing about Lost World 3DS special stages is that, if I recall right, they kind of assume that you, you're holding the 3DS in your hand and it's not tethered down to a cable, you know, perhaps to your computer, you know, just as an example, because you gotta stand around and, like, rotate everywhere. This is also the reason that I cannot stream Face Raiders on the 3DS. Oh, Tails Challenges? Tails Challenges, huh? Whatever that means. What does that mean? Welcome to Tails Challenges. Get on the leaderboards. I, I don't feel like it right now. I might do it later. Okay. We gotta speed. We gotta speed through the checkpoints. As one does. My immigration speed run. I hope that wasn't offensive, what I just said. Wait, what was the mission here? Can't you use an extension cable to get over the issue with Lost World? Actually, yeah, you're right. I could. I just hope that it would not become unstuck. If it became unstuck, then I would have a problem. Oh, these are these are very ominous eyeballs hanging around. Yeah, I know, I know. Perfect gender ratio in this video game. You want to play as boys? You got boys. You wanna play as the girls? You got the girls. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Can I play as non-binaries? Uh, we're still working on that one. That- that will be in Sonic Dream Tomb. That- th not like Tomb, like, you know, you're- what you're buried in. Um, it's like- it's- it's Team, but with the number two. It'll- it'll make a lot more sense written out than spoken. Please stay tuned. We will be adding gay marriage to the next Tamadachi Life. Which is absolutely a game that we're going to make. And not... <laughs> and not a lie that we told Dustin. I should give you my Minecraft map since you can stream Minecraft Pocket Edition. Uh, if I- if I ever streamed anything Minecraft, it would absolutely be the PC version. Because... I- I have found a way to stream iPhone games, but it's not something I want to make a habit of doing, to be honest with you. I think I went in a circle.
But also, if I ever streamed anything Minecraft, I would probably just stream Minecraft, you know, like normal Minecraft. Where, where is this? Oh, I, I see. I see. What? Okay, maybe I don't. Okay, I guess I go this way. Oh, no! Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm all good. I'd hope... I was hoping you'd stream chocolate Minecraft. Okay, you're trying... You're trying to make a funny, but... Vanilla is shorthand for... Meaning basically, like... The game as it was originally designed. That said, I guess it wouldn't be totally vanilla, because I... I would probably use, like, some optimization mods, and like... Maybe some shaders. Get some of them cool shaders in there. Make Minecraft look real good. Cookies and cream. Yeah, cookies and cream Minecraft. Vanilla with little chocolate chips in there. But gameplay-wise, you know, Minecraft as it typically is. That said, I, I don't know if I'm particularly interested in streaming Minecraft anytime soon. It would just- it would just take a long time. Probably eat up my schedule, you know. Plus, there's just a- there's a lot of things in Minecraft that are just kind of dull. And I'm not sure if y'all would want to watch some of that. <laughs> I mean, I say as if Minecraft wasn't one of the most popular games to Let's Play only a short few years ago. We all remember the Minecraft YouTuber renaissance. Okay, so we're probably gonna be stopping before too long, but we got a little bit of time left. Wait, what, what, what was that? Oh, no, 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 what was that? What was that? Does that lead to the gr- oh. Oh. A golf map? There it is. How do you play golf in Minecraft? You kind of, you know, you kind of need a ball. Minecraft is not particularly known for having those. Minecraft gun mod. Yeah, so whenever it whenever it gets a little boring, I just shoot a gun into the air. Lower the property values. You know, they made a gun mod for Sonic Heroes, except it was official. That was real. And they sold it as a separate game. A slime ball on ice. I see. Am, am I supposed to go- what? What are you saying to me right now? A guy tried to remake both City Escape and Radical Highway. Nice, nice. I feel like you know, you kind of, again, you kind of need slopes to get the proper experience of that level. But, you know, you can do whatever you want. Sometimes, would you, would you, let me, off of there, thank you. Sometimes it's about, not about whether or not you should, it's about whether you can. The textures on those floating rocks are doing the Hanna-Barbera thing. Glitch or dreamlike effect? You be the judge. I mean, honestly, this game hasn't been particularly glitchy, as far as I can tell. It's been fairly stable. Absolutely wretched audio balancing, but not glitchy. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Does not count as a glitch. That was me dying. Now, I, I mean, I know it feels like a glitch because, you know, Dustin is so good at video games, he should never die. And I, I, I understand. I understand why you would think that. But I am human. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? I don't know the rest of that song, so I'm gonna stop singing it now. Wait, there's a, there's a coin. There's a ring coin. Thank you. Yeah, there's, a, there's kind of a Mario Galaxy thing going on in here. More Mario Galaxy than uh, Lost World was. I remember when Lost World was coming out and everybody was like, whoa, this kind of looks like Sonic Unleashed. This, not Sonic Unleashed. This looks like Sonic uh, Extreme. Bingo Bo's talking about Sonic Unleashed too much and now it's, it's got me doing it. But yeah, it's like, this looks like Sonic Extreme and they're like, wow, it's the spiritual successor. They're making it. F they're finally making it on superior hardware. They're giving it another try. And then somebody like talked to one of the Sega peeps and they were like, oh no, we've never heard of Sonic Extreme in our lives. We have we have no idea what that is. And then we were all like, oh. Oh, why did- Why is it so laggy there? Okay, collect the dream orb. Gotta go up. If Sonic Extreme was released, we would be getting four-hour video essays on why it sucks. Yeah, honestly... Okay, so as big of a Sonic fan as I am, and as much as I would have loved to have played it, I will say that Sonic Extreme as we know it probably would not have been terribly impressive. Honestly, the Saturn was just gonna have a hard time playing a proper Sonic game. They could have made it 2D, but see, this is back in the era when uh, 2D was old and stupid and bad. Which, I mean, it's still kind of the case, but, you know, it was even more so back then. Like, nowadays, you can release a game like Symphony of the Night, and you'll get at least, you know, some people singing its praises. But it felt like back then, every... Even, even reviews that thought Symphony of the Night was good, they were like, Oh, yeah, but it's 2D, so... I don't know, you might want to just get the Castlevania on N64. I'm sure that's a lot better. So yeah, basically, if they had released... If they had released a 2D Sonic game on the Saturn, then Sega would have been laughed out of the industry. Like, like, forget, you know, having to do it for financial reasons, they just would never have been taken seriously again. So yes, so Sonic on the Saturn was just a hard time for them. And honestly, I totally understand why they waited for the Dreamcast. Something like Sonic Adventure just would not have run on <laughs> all that well on the Saturn, if it ran at all. Like, I, I love the Saturn. I think it's like a neat little piece of kit. But it is not a powerhouse of a console. Sega designed it to be, like, mostly good for 2D. Like, I have no idea why. But they did. And then when it was, you know, it was obvious that they were making... People were making 3D stuff, 3D consoles. Sega was like, oh, shit, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. 
and they tried to like retool the Saturn into a 3D console. And as a result, it's not particularly great at it. <laughs> yeah, like Japan loved the Saturn. Oh God, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Japan freaking loved the Sega Saturn, but it failed to catch on basically anywhere else. Which is also, you know, you could also have a discussion about, you know, like, communication and apathy between the different branches of Sega. Like, Sega of Japan kind of was a weird mixture of hands-off and really strict with Sega of America. And they just give them, like, bizarre mandates for no reason. And sometimes for reason, I don't know. Honestly, Sega had a lot of stuff leading to their, you know, step out of the console industry. There were, there were a lot of factors. That's why I think it's so fascinating for turbo nerds like us to talk about, you know, like, oh, what if Sega had done this differently? Because honestly, it, it's possible that if you had changed one or two things, you know, we'd be in a different situation right now. Of course, maybe we wouldn't be. Maybe this was bound to happen no matter what. Maybe it was a canon event. I still have not watched the second Spider-Verse. I, I really need to get around to that. Yeah, it's easy to- t it's easy to talk about the things, you know, they could have done differently, because there's a lot- there's a lot that they should have. And yeah, like, Sonic Extreme, let's- let's be honest, the moment Mario 64 hit the market, like, I- I forget when exactly they wanted Extreme to come out. Obviously, it was never gonna hit that, but... Once Mario 64 came out, no one would be able to take Extreme seriously. And honestly, I think a big problem is that, you know, Sonic speed, right? Like, the, a, a lot of the marketing for Sonic is, oh, he go real fast. He go real fast, you know? And the problem is, is that when you go fast, you gotta, like, load stuff faster. You know, things like that. See, like, Mario, Rayman, Mega Man, all that stuff, they have the benefit of taking their time. That's a luxury Sonic does not have. Also, oh, there's a big man in the lava! Oh! So yeah, after- after this mission, we'll stop. Oh. Oh, oh. But yeah, good music in this game. Like- like- like that guitar is really nice. It's so nice of Sega to include, like, a free video game with these music albums. Anyway... Yeah, that'll be it for right now. I- I don't know how far I'm gonna go with this game. I think I'd like to at least finish it. You know, pro- might not go for a hundred percent or anything, but I- you know, I'd like to see the end. But... Either way, I hope you had a fun. It's a pretty, it's a decent little game. Honestly, I I wouldn't say like oh it's it's better than Frontiers. Oh my God, it's better than Frontiers. <laughs> but you know, for a mobile Sonic game, you can do a lot worse than this. You know, like if you if you absolutely got to get some Sonic action on your iPhone, not a bad way to do it. Not a bad, not a bad. 
So, yeah. Uh, next time, probably some more Mario RPG. See you around, everybody. Love you.